because i know that time is always time and place is always an only place and what is actual is actual for one time and only for one place in the english version of the film sans soleil by chris marker this passage from t s eliot's nineteen thirty poem ash wednesday was quoted at the very beginning of his visual essay as i do now sans soleil recounts a journey that covers extensive territory spanning asia africa and north america even though the film was made in 1982, it feels very contemporary in that our travel diaries now are likewise more inclined to reflect our ease of leaving on a jet plane, traversing continents. The romance of the road has been displaced by air travel. Instead of hours peering out car windows, we now peer out cabin windows through atmospheric clouds onto the distant terrain below. I want to return now to a time and a place where I was peering out the car window with my video camera on the roads in North Korea. And I couldn't stop them, so they had to hire an Israeli militarist fascist. <laughs> I love the story about him. Uh, <laughs> who recommended him? And, and oh, Angela <laughs> Davis recommended him because she had the same problem. The oh, problem is dangerous was... women with a dangerous dog. Yeah, she had a <laughs> dog that killed cats. And, oh, yeah. And she didn't want to get rid of it. You get attached, you know, us old ladies with dogs, we get attached. Yeah. Right. Um, so she hired this Israeli militarist to train. Oh my goodness. She trained uh, her dog and she said it was perfect, it worked great, so she recommended it. Uh, so I got him. He really does, he's scary. <laughs> he's, he's, in this, he's a veteran. He's killing Palestinians. So she was saying that on particular days people visit the grave sites. Uh, national holidays. The national holidays. But the people who are coming to Pyongyang city from countryside, they pay tribute to to. And on the days of the this of individual fighters. Birthdays. Yeah, birthdays and these days, the families come and pay tribute. So if you're the son or daughter of um, a, a revolutionary hero, would you have a good chance to um, participate in the party? Yes. So actually, are there very many, um, are there not very many um, traditional houses left? Mostly there's apartment buildings. Uh, we have many traditional house buildings in the countryside there for the farmers. What spurred me to remember this 1998 trip was the 50th anniversary of Kerouac's best-known novel, On the Road. Just as it took me nearly a decade to reckon with this footage, it also took Kerouac 10 years to write the novel. Although he decided against his original intention to name the book The Beat Generation, the book nevertheless popularized the term. Beat was a slang term that originally referred to a condition of being beaten down, destitute, 
generally down in the dumps. But the tropes that got popularized were almost the opposite, that beats were optimistic, risk-taking young folks who were seekers with a desperate craving for belief, a case of manufactured idealism, a feel-good myth. Oh wait, there's two of them now. Where? Where? Oh look, oh, 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 changing of the guard. Okay, that was so smooth. There's a crane in the field. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. It's the Korean flag. 